Welcome back to the channel. I have a guest today, Mike. Mike is my neighbor. He has a massive which model again? Uh, Ferguson uh, 212. Ah, uh, 1225. 1225. Mm -hmm. So that's fairly sized uh, a tractor in between uh, the main the bar Dave's have has and the case. It's a really nice size and we got snow and that's going to be the third snow plow this year I did. And this one will be a little bit wider than the one we just completed for day. It's going to be 782 inches wide. And we're going to have it to tilt like I did on the bowling. So, and it will be mounted on the uh, front end loader. Um, Mike has the uh, quick attach, Ferguson, Messi Ferguson uh, quick attach, where we're going to match this uh, kind of system too. And uh, that's pretty much it. Take a run.
know why, Mike? Yeah, it looks pretty. It's a little bit too curved, so we're going to straighten this a little bit more because uh, we have... You find it's too curved? Yeah. 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 Uh, basically, you're going to drive too much. Okay. And it's going to pack snow here, or the curve is so pronounced that it will pack some snow, okay. sticky snow. Okay. So it's a little bit too curved. Okay. So we're going to remove a little bit more curve. Are you going to do some spot weld? Yeah, exactly. We're going to do the full weld on the top and bottom. Just make sure that they don't uh, un unweld or break loose. Okay. Good. Going to do that now. Full well at the top and bottom, at the back also with a stitch uh, well. So we're ready to uh, move to the backbone of that uh, flow now. So as you can see, there's a, a good curvature on that uh, flow, and I would say this is uh, maybe too much curvature. What is the problem with too much uh, curve on it? Is first that uh, the snow will be more prone to stick in that uh, curve and more over when in working uh, position and this one is almost uh, stuck touching the ground so it's going to pack with uh, snow it's, it won't be effective and then back dragging then it won't be effective too so we want the curve of the flow to be a little bit less uh, pronounced but I don't know how we're going to uh, straighten that. <laughs> we'll see. Uh, we've got a problem. <laughs> so this uh, two by two tube just bent because of the heat of the well, and it's uh, pretty much bent at the end of the hood. So we can show. So that you get a hood. So you can, uh, <laughs> uh, same on the other side, so, what we think that we can do is to make some cuts here, uh, straighten it, and weld it back, and hopefully it will work, I guess, I hope, maybe. <laughs> so should we cut up and this side with this one too or not? No, no just uh, yeah, because it's down like this and like, like, like this. this yeah. It's going to weld it. But this one, if we don't even cut anything for this bend like this, it will be hard to. Uh, yeah, you're right. You're right. So maybe we make uh, the the cut on around three sides. Okay. Nah, that's a detail. <laughs> so we made uh, some cuts here and there, like uh, five cuts. This first one, second, third, and so on. And We've put a 2x3 under it and clamps and we're going to, re uh, to weld the cuts and let's see what it does. Okay, we almost succeeded to uh, straighten this uh, part which means that uh, it's pretty much uh, <laughs> the same as it was before. Anyways, we're going to move forward with that uh, the snow won't see any difference anyways. Okay, the idea now is to uh, uh, have this uh, flow to be uh, a little bit less curved. So we clamp at the back and we're going to clamp at the front to uh, flatten this. But then, what are we going to do after that? <laughs> we'll have to uh, uh, make some uh, 
and think you uh, keep that shape. Yeah. Okay, let's see how how uh, that can be achieved. Okay, off camera we cut some parts, so we cut the template from the back of the plow, make the backbone. Uh, most likely it's going to be uh, 24 inches in between those uh, legs, like this. So I don't know, if we speak of backbone, could it be also ribs? Uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah, the ribs, yeah, yeah. sure. Okay. Uh, so this is the back of the plow. Uh, we're going to come with uh, two by two like this one here and the other right here. We might leave maybe six inches in between. And we're going to punch a hole here uh, to put a bushing and to put a pin in between for the angle of the flow. So we're going on to the uh, milling to uh, cut those holes. Uh, this is the ribs at the back of the plow with the curve. Uh, this is going to be the two cross members. Uh, this pipe is actually a mechanical tube, so you can see that it turns. So we won't weld it for now, but it serves as a, the alignment from one hole to the other hole, so that we make sure that the pin is going to be from center to center. So we'll leave this for the time we are going to tack weld. Uh, the tack weld would be at the ends and after that we are going to fit that on the plow. 